Hello and welcome to my dandelion diaries. I'm just gonna say this now. I apologize in advance for all of the fangirling moments I'm going to have in this video. So today's video is all about a new pen that I got from Yoseka Stationery, and there's a little bit of a backstory to this pen. So if you're interested in just the pen reveal, skip to whatever timestamp I put on the screen. <laughs> So backstory for this pen is I have been on the hunt for a Pilot Vanishing Point capless regular Desmo. It didn't really matter to me about barrel size, but I was looking for one that was green and I always wanted it to be like a dark green or like a medium green with gold finish. And originally they came out with a Pilot Vanishing Point in the bamboo colorway and I'll insert a picture of that on the screen and that is the pen that I was on the hunt for forever forever <laughs> like ever since I they released it and it was like a Japan only thing and yes it was so gorgeous I was not willing to pay $700 to somebody on eBay <laughs> to get that pen so it is not really within my range and ever since then kind of sat in the corners like my grail pen that I may get someday if I ever decide that I want to spend that much money or could ever find it for a better price. And lo and behold comes Yoseka Stationery and they released a, a Pilot Vanishing Point in the 30th anniversary edition for Taiwan and it is green and it has gold trim and it's gonna be perfect, I already know it. I totally saved the package because I wanted to open it with you guys. So let's just, yes. Okay, so starting off, I got this gorgeous little card from Yoseka. As always, they do such a beautiful job with packaging. So thank you so much, Alex, for this gorgeous handwritten note. I am definitely going to be putting this in my journal and saving it forever. You have beautiful handwriting, by the way, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's open the box. <sighs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> okay, like I said, I'm gonna try not to be too fangirly in this video, but there may be some squeals and it, it's, I'm sorry if that annoys you. This is just a very exciting moment for me. I'm gonna try not to cut the box. So a little bit about the pen before I open the box is it is the 30th anniversary edition of the Pilot Capless or Pilot Vanishing Point um, in Taiwan. And this is only one of 600 pens made for this anniversary and I'm very excited to see which number I get. It's luck of the draw. We'll see what my fate is in just a second. <laughs> but this has a lovely little sleeve on it. I do save my pen boxes just in case I want to move someday and have them stored properly, especially the ones that cost me a bit more of money. <sighs> okay, here we go. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! It comes with this gorgeous little card. I'm definitely going to read this. Just open it up before we get to the good stuff. So this is the little card. Oh no. So it looks like it's probably in either Japanese or I'm, I'm, I'm horrible with the character. So I apologize if I butcher this. It could be Taiwanese or Chinese. Um, if anybody can read this, please tell me what it says. I would love to know. I can try to do Google Translate, but I'm not always 100% accurate with stuff like this. Next in that little packet, we have another little card. I assume this is probably for warranty things. And okay, so it is the filling mechanism, how to use it, name of the parts, and all of the ways that you can maximize this pen <laughs> oh they have it in dutch too cool okay i'm gonna put all of this back in this little sleeve so let's pull out the pen oh wow wow okay i'm gonna take off the little charm here and don't mind me i'm just going to admire this for a minute so i may cut cut back and i'll be in a different position okay so i'm going to zoom you guys in and we'll do some close-ups of this gorgeous pen because it needs its moment on my channel this is this is such a happy moment for me 
So starting off at the top here, you can see that it has the standard Pilot Vanishing Point clip. I actually do like their clips, they're pretty good. And then in the center here, right beneath the Pilot Japan, you can see which number I got. It is engraved, so it says 426 over 600, which is the number that I got. If you look straight down the barrel, you can probably see the capping mechanism and the nib pop out. So cool how that works. I really do love the Pilot Vanishing Point pens. They're so much fun. And as a person who grew up with clicky pens all her life, this is definitely why this is a grail pen for me. It does have this beautiful gold trim. The back button looks like this if you push it in. And I love that it still sticks out a little bit and is kind of springy even when it's not, um, or even when it's, when it's compressed. All right, let's go ahead and open it up so we can take a closer look at the nib inside. Okay, so it came with a Con40 converter, and here is the nib unit. So the pen disassembles into two pieces like so, and then the nib looks like this. Like I said, I got the medium nib, and this one is a 18 karat gold nib, so it is really nice. So the converter is a Con40, which if you are new to the fountain pen world, I'm just going to tell you now these converters are terrible. <laughs> They are really hard to get a full fill on and honestly, I usually just syringe fill them and or I don't even use them I'll just use the cartridge that comes with the pen usually Since this one came with a converter I'll use the converter for now But I do also have empty pilot cartridges that I've saved that I like to fill up with ink too But this just slips straight in there and is a friction fit This is so pretty I am sorry. This is gorgeous okay so i'm going to reassemble the pen really quick and when you're reassembling this it has a little dot this has to line up with that otherwise the nib will not go in so if you don't line up this section it can damage the front of your nib and being that it is a softer nib since it's gold i would just be really careful with that and then screw it back together gorgeous i love the finish on this it is so nice Okay, so the other thing that came in my box is this gorgeous pen sleeve, which was part of the 30th anniversary edition. It is a greenish color. It's not as forest green as the pen itself, but it, okay, so it does have a little cap in here. So if you use a Pilot cartridge, you have to put this cap to use the capless pen. Otherwise, the push mechanism at the back won't push the nib out because it won't have anything to hit against. The cartridge will be too short. Okay, so this is what the inside of this looks like. I actually watched Lau's video from Kenshin, I think it's Kenshin Crafts. I'll link his video too if you wanna watch another one of these. And if you put your pen in a certain way, it locks into place. So, we're just gonna give that a good old try. Oh, okay, cool. So I think that's how that goes. Yep, looks good to me. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna zoom you guys out and we are going to do a little bit of a pen comparison because this is still a new pen day and I would love to compare it to some other pens and we'll just do our, my normal spiel with testing out the nib and everything and I will be inking this up for November. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> So this is the Pilot Vanishing Point here in the center. This is the Galen Leather um, Crazy gr crazy Horse Green. So you can see it's almost the same tone of that if you have something like this. It is a very dark green color. I would definitely say it's a more cool green tone, but it's so pretty. So comparing it to a Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo, we can see that it is a much smaller barrel for a Decimo and the regular capless is a much larger. In case you wanted to see it from this angle, you can see definitely how much skinnier the Decimo is versus the Capless. Again, I don't mind either way. I think they're both stunning. This is what it looks like next to an Estabrook SD. A Twisby Eco T. And we'll throw in one more just for fun. This is a Pilot Kakuno. 
So the ink that I'm going to be inking this pen up with today is Monteverde's Yosemite Green. I actually have a bottle of this, but I wanted to make sure I used my sample up before I get into a whole bottle. And we're going to see how terrible this Con 40 is. Did it even pull up anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I really don't want to have to syringe fill, but maybe we will. Yeah. The Con 40 converters are terrible, so bear with me for one second here. All right, so I came prepared and I have a syringe. <laughs> this is just a, I think two, no, three mil syringe from Jet Pens. You can use any flat nosed syringe to do this for any of your pens. And I don't usually show me inking up with a syringe on camera, but that's okay. And the Con 40 hardly holds any ink, unfortunately. So this is, I think, half a mil. And that even might be too much, actually. Let me pull some of that out. Hold on. Alright, so now that we've got that nice in, in there, let me secure that. Yeah, if you want to use Pilot Pens, I highly recommend just refilling cartridges because the converter is just less than par. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to attempt to write with it since I just inked it up. This nib is so nice. So I have a, like I said, the Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo, and that one I have in a fine. I don't know if there's any ink left in this one, but we'll try it out. Yeah, this one's dried up. So I would say the nib bounciness is the same for the Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo as it is on this anniversary edition. I am going to compare it to another medium pen. So I'm going to bring back that SD. This is the Estabrook SD in a medium, and it also has a green ink. And you can see that the SD is much thicker than the Pilot Vanishing Point. So I would say the Pilot Vanishing Point is a true medium, and the SD would be more of like a Western medium. So it's a little bit broader. Plus, SDs are a little bit more juicy. <laughs> this is a Lamy Bold or Lamy Broad. So this one is a little bit broader than the uh, Pilot Vanishing Point here as well. And then we'll compare one more. This is a Platinum Preppy. This is like a $5 pen and it is yellow ink. So I apologize. It does dry down a little bit darker here in a minute. Overall, I am so incredibly happy to have this pen in my collection this really is a grail pen for me it is green it is gold it is capless it is fantastic i am i'm i'm so ecstatic with this right now if you want to see how it turns out at the end of november with my currently inked videos i will be having this in my currently inked lineup for november and i will also give a review of honestly how the pen behaves after a whole month of use and everything like that so Stay tuned for that at the end of November. I do want to say that this pen is a bit out of my normal price range of getting pens. I typically like to stick with pens that are under $200 and this was MSRP over $300. So not something I typically go for, but like I said at the beginning of the video, if you wanted the backstory, the original capitalist that I was after, the bamboo version, was priced at $700 on eBay. So I think I, I 
I settled for something that I'm perfectly happy to have because it's still green, still capless, still has gold hardware, and it's still beautiful. Anyways, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching today, for joining me. I hope you have a great fountain pen day on Friday the 3rd. It is National Fountain Pen Day. Go check out all the sales on Atlas and Pen Chalet and Gold Spot Pens, Endless Pens, Cult Pens, all of the pen places. Hopefully we'll be having some kind of deal for Fountain Pen Day if you're interested in anything on the market today. But again, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go enjoy my new pen some more and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.